Tell us a bit about who you are and uh, what your charity does and things. Yeah, my name's Graham Cook. I'm the uh, founder and chief executive of OffTheRailsKids.com. We operate a signposting service um, working with disaffected and troubled teenagers throughout the UK. Our core programme sends um, problem teenagers, in inverted commas, away on experiential learning programmes out into the wilds. Uh, our core programme takes place in the United States, which is very expensive, uh, and that's where we cut our teeth, where we work as an agent alongside some leading edge providers out in Utah. But it's always been my desire to bring this programme to the UK. Uh, there's lots of reasons why it's been very difficult, but um, the good news is that we're very close to uh, forming an association with um, a really high level uh, experiential learning program based in Scotland. And, and we hope very much to be able to bring a, a cost-effective program to the UK to help young people and families uh, resolve some of their families and issues and get back on track again. So uh, why did you decide to support Metro 60? Um, well, it, it's, apart from the fact it's a good cause, um, we need to work on our own profile in this part of the world. We're based in the North East uh, and we've run our operation for the last seven years in the North East. Because of the cost of the programmes that we work with, um, it's, it's somewhat uh, difficult for many families, uh, working class families, can I say, or just hard working families, to be able to afford these programmes. So we do tend to work with very affluent families at the moment from the south of England who have got the financial capability to send their kids out to, to America. So we want to develop a UK-based programme that's cost effective for, for normal families to be able to have some help and support and get back on track. Because at this moment in time, schools, uh, social services, mental health organisations just are not coping with young people with issues. Where can people find your charity online? Or? Yeah, we're, uh, it's uh, offtherailskids.com. Uh, so that's our website and also we are increasingly getting more, more involved in social media uh, which is a whole new world for me as you can see I'm not a tender young thing mm -hmm. so uh, for me I'm uh, finding my way through social media um, but uh, yeah watch this space we're hoping very soon to be able to announce a partnership based in the United Kingdom where we can uh, offer some real challenging environments for people to um, help get themselves back on track, as I said. Great. So um, what do you hope to get out of this, uh, this charity event? Is it just spreading the word? of? Um, well, I think, again, it's exposure. It's, it's letting people understand what we do. Um, uh, as I said, the fact is that we are based in the northeast of England. We want to try and put something back into this community, shall we say, the wider community, um, and, and to families who, at this point in time, the, the sort of programmes that we run, it's just... It's just a bridge too far financially. So spreading the word, exposure, um, allowing people to understand what we do, um, because invariably, once parents especially get to us and find out what we do, that there is such a sense of relief um, and equally some frustration, the fact that they've trolled the internet for sometimes days, weeks, trying to find programmes because they've got you know very sensitive personal challenges and issues within their families um, so really it's just an awareness thing and, and a little bit of um, support to Steve and the guys to um, um, you know as I say to, to, to make everybody in this part of the world aware of what we do.